Hey there gamers, Mark the Lone Gamer here. We're back in the hinterlands, back from the Sword Coast. Just realized we had to finish some stuff here so we can reap the reward, so to speak, of our efforts. Now, first of all, before we anything else, Sarah and our newest member, the Iron Bull, can apparently level up. So let's get to them. Sarah's one point. Let's give her an upgrade to her an upgrade to her explosive bolt. For Iron Bull, he has eight points because we just got him and he, we can now level him up. Uh, we, he will be a two-handed ex expert. So let's give him Mighty Blow, which is basically just basic for any two-hander. Hmm. Let's get that. Let's get Shield Breaker. Whirlwind, of course. Let's take that. Clear path. Hmm. Let's go to Battle Master. We'll take this grappling chain and give them the boots. Let's give him crippling blow. All right. Aside from that, we've given him armor. So... I think this is Cassandra's old armor. Let's give him this to wear on his face. Now... Yeah. So every one of us has pretty good armor, I think. So as you can see, Marion here has new armor. We we crafted all of this the last time. Even Cassandra. So Cassandra has pretty much has the best armor so far. And usually the best armor or as you can see here, the best armor usually looks like the usual outfit that the characters wear. So we are good for now. Of course we gave Sarah this. Let's head off and find person in uh, in charge of this area, Corporal Vale. Uh, for stuff to take effect, we have to talk to him. That basically includes getting all the meat for the hunter, finding the caches of the apostates for blankets, and of course finding a healer. You've done amazing work out here. Oh, thanks to you, these refugees are safe with warm clothes and food in their bellies. The Inquisition might be able to make use of them. If you had a mind to. All right, let's ask first. What are you suggesting? We could ask the best and brightest to join the Inquisition. They would serve well. Just as easy to put them to work or look at the whole thing as an act of charity. The Inquisition can always use skilled volunteers. Anybody who joined up now would be loyal for life. I bet no one's ever asked them to join anything. All right. Let's recruit the skilled. This will basically just get us agents. Oh, this is the best, I think, for the long term. Some of these people have skills that can help the Inquisition. See if any of them want to volunteer. I'm sure we'll get some good recruits out of it. I'll go now and set things up with the refugees. But thank you again. These people are alive because of you. None of us will forget that. All right, and with that... Are you sure? Pretty much the... Hinterlands are done. Well, the main uh, thing 
which includes the, the area of the outskirts. So basically this area, they're good. <laughs> but we still have a ton of stuff to do. Um, we haven't fully explored this area. There's tons more to find. And I, I think a lot of it might be done um, off screen. But um, I don't want to take off everything because, Keep an eye out. well, I mean, it's still gameplay. There's stuff that can happen. There are quest points. Should actually be pretty good to see. I mean, it's not all just grinding and just... Uh, just uh, routine quests. There are some things which can actually develop characters. So for starters, let's go to one of the camps and continue searching from there. Do some quests. I think we can go here. Let's go to the Upper Lake Camp. So from time to time, we'll come back here. I even if we open up areas like the Storm Coast, like, like as we did last episode. We'll still on occasion go to other areas, back to earlier areas to finish up things because there are things that are better done later on. You don't have to finish this entire area before we move on because that's just... Uh, it's not... Not practical, or in some cases, not possible. Now here, we learn from the storyteller, the old woman in Redcliffe Village, that if you put some blood lotus here, something will happen. I... Ah! Alright, um... I actually never had that, never noticed that the sword actually came out of the dam. Right. Come on, come on, come on. There's that barrier. Right, let's keep giving our... Oh! Alright. Good work. No loot from the bear? Where's the loot? <laughs> oh well. So was that bear connected with the Excalibur here? I, I, we don't know. So, Warlord Greatsword. Belt of Urgency. Alright. So I guess Iron Bull... I guess he deserves to get the sword. That's definitely an increase. He starts off with this. His unique axe. Of course, it's pretty, pretty much the weakest thing that he can he's carrying because it's his first weapon. So let's give him that. And let's... Oh. Let's give him a belt. Let's, let's have him use these. Uh, now, yes, yeah, there. Just need one. You only need one. Uh, our main character levels up very fast. Alright. So, what's this? Fire Mine. Uh, it's a bit. Um, What's this? Wall of Fire? Maybe something else? Uh, winter Stillness... Let's take... Let's take that. 
So that's actually, uh, arguably that's actually more effective if you have two mages in the party. Because if you can uh, combo freeze spells, you'll cause a lot more damage. We don't have two mages right now, but you know, that's fine. Let's check out what we need to find here. So I'm just basically taking this opportunity to... This episode at least. To find some more uh, things. Some uh, Maybe we can get more agents. And to... Um, Safe travel, sir. To take care of some loose, loose ends. So what's this? A letter found on a corpse. She told us right and proper, son. Three times around the crown statue, right hand close enough to brush the stone itself, and the spirits will listen. Everything else has been done. He slipped a silver to the chantry to save grandfather's body from the burning, and he's buried close by. Three times around, always turning right, and the spirits will bring him back to us. Go now and don't be afraid. So apparently, someone... Try to get someone resurrected. Of course, that will surely go off without a hitch. We also have to, as you saw, we have to find logging sites. And we haven't found that many. Anyway, we'll just have to do that as we play. Often we'll do that off screen. That's a grave. And here we have the statue. Ah, how convenient. So we turn right three times. All right. We have to just go. Varric, please, please don't get in the way. Please don't get in the way. Are we doing it right? Don't think you need to run. All right. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. So it's. A, what is it? Where is it? Don't kill it before we get a good look at it. I can't see. All right. I think it's already dead. Oh, oh no. All right, there he is. Oh, where is it? Ah, it's down. Oh, there it is. It's a it's grandfather, and he's an elite. And well, he's almost dead. All right. Well, he was dead to begin with. And of course, as you can see, trying to get the dead back to life is not a good idea. So, Cassandra already has a belt. Oh, that was Marion. <laughs> Alright, let's give Varric that. All right. Corpse. So these are the things that you'll, f you'll find all around. All around the area. Nice little quests, little bits. It's not all just find the uh, find 10 of this. Or kill that thing. Sometimes there is a bit more flavor text. There's circumstance, but well, that's the nature of the game. It is a bit more. There, there's certainly a bit of MMO flavor to the overall gameplay. It's not quite like Skyrim because Skyrim is is really uh, is more intimate, I guess, or personal because you are controlling one character most of the time. As I've told uh, a viewer who 
didn't really like the gameplay overall. Dragon Age as a whole is really based more the combat. I I, I mean, is based more on the party. You're not meant to. Wow! <laughs> Sheesh. You know, it doesn't matter if it's Skyrim or if it's Thedas here. Bears are are bastards. Alright, come on everybody. Kill it. Is bullet there? Yes he is. To be, to be honest, Bull is actually doing pretty well in terms of. Uh... Oh shit! What the hell? Is this bear country? Take a potion. Where's that? Oh, it's Varric. We have Varric. Why am I thinking of Sarah? <sighs> Alright, there's... I just noticed there's some kind of... Oh, bandits. Alright, before we go there... Bull, take a potion. Cassandra, take another potion. Alright, let's see what some kind of palisade. Alright, um. Alright, <laughs> right, let's take back. Controlling bag right now. Alright, uh, bag still pretty well. That guy is pretty big. Oh, oh, Marion. Let's go back to Marion. Why are you injured like that? Alright, there's another guy. Alright, we are level 8. We'll take a potion. That's some good armor. Are you referring to me? Some high-ranking women wear ornamental crap with tits hammered into it. One good shot, and all that cleavage gets knocked right into the sternum. Real messy. Good on you for going practical. I aim to please. Leave something to the imagination, too. <laughs> yes. I think bull doesn't mean to be... Anything, I think, if anything, he's just being, as he said, being practical. But he does not hide that he is a man. Ooh, Templar shield. Can Cassandra use that? I think that's a definite upgrade. Oh, no. She's already fine with what she has. 
Now, I, I, I'm fairly sure that this is not actually round. Oh well. Oh, is there a better weapon? Cassandra's still using that. Alright, there's nothing. Weird. Ooh, Vanguard coat. Okay. Damn it. Going back into the... Alright, slightly better than what he has. It's fine. Good. Oh ho! All right. I mean, maybe we should grab everything before we. All right, fine. Uh, enhance mighty blow. Let's put it there. All right. At least we know that he can use that ring. So I guess this, th these were. More bandits, I guess? Because we already actually took care of one of the bandit camps. Alright, this is better than the Carta coat. Let's put that on. Just a wee bit more and we can have him use this. Should be a lot better. This, this scout armor, we can actually augment it with uh, better arms and legs all right very good this was a this is actually a pretty good find you get some more drake stone it's always a great upgrade material usually it uh, gives us health upgrades if you attach it or craft armor with it basically makes you more a bit more tanky Oh, more enemies. Oh, really? All right. All right, and uh, barrier. Attack Mario. That's a bear. All right, more barrier. Because we're the only mage here, we need to keep our barriers up. We have. It's on us to keep our friends alive. All right. All right. Bowl, take a potion. We're almost out of potions. We should actually use the healing potions more rather than the regen because the regen potions are actually cannot be replaced. They're not replaced automatically. We have to find elf root replenish them so I think uh, it's better to just use the healing potions as opposed to the secondary potions it's a, it's a mistake that I've been actually doing for the past 10 episodes or so <laughs> but then the what's that a letter on a bandit in the hinterlands, the patrol pattern is not negotiable. Upon any encounter resulting in injuries, mark trail and withdraw to the villa. You must remain in fighting condition to apply appropriate force and keep refugees clear from the area. So this is still part of the bandit group that was hired by the Carta to harass refugees here in the hinterlands. We still haven't entirely destroyed this threat. They have, I think, still a main headquarters, which we will have to take out 
eventually. It might be a very uh, higher level area that we might handle, judging from how tanky the guys here were. But I think we can we can take it on if we find it. Oh shit! My right, barrier. What you should do uh, as well is cast barrier first before anything else. And bull is taking a lot of damage. Right, bull, take the last potion. Might have to go back to a camp to replenish. At least we did find a lot of better, better arms and armor and equipment. That is always good. Can we get up here? All right. Another point of interest over there. Kind of ruin. Hmm. What is this place? That's still one of those things. You'll find that tear the bright axe uh, spots all over the world. Prayer stones. I've never really read the the Tear the Bright Axe texts. I don't know, I just find so I just don't like to read that stuff. I'm actually not into the lore too much. It's it, I'm more into whatever the more important texts which are more plot based rather than uh Can we go up here? Rather than history, I, I'm not trying to be a history buff or anything in terms of lair, uh, lore in Thetis. I think we found, finally, our current quest objective, which is... Yes, we have to place flowers on the grave of a grieving husband. Or I think the, the, woman's, the, the wife's been dead for a long time. But anyway... Despite being in the middle of a war to save the, the world from a demon invasion, we can still take the time to uh, put flowers on a grave. Santa beloved, may your ashes be carried by a fallen deed and carried away safely for all the long years you carried me. Alright, so we can go back to Red Cliff. And turn that in for... I think it's just going to give us a bit of power or influence. Not really that important, but... Again, it's just a quest to do good things. It's always good to do good things. Aha. So there... It's the fortress that we need to take on. Um, yeah. Let's go to the camp first. And replenish our supplies. What the hell? Alright. Ah. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Barrier. Uh. Where'd you go? Barrier. Alright. Here, come to the piece. That guy's a rogue. Very dangerous. Some kind of assassin? I thought he was an in Inquisition soldier. Alright. Why is he so close to our camp? I think our camp is nearby here. 
We have a camp. Yeah, we have a camp. Yeah, before we go waltzing into a, a mercenary fortress, let's replenish our. Oh, we have a set up camp. We haven't taken up this camp yet. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright. We're being attacked by, by both a rogue and a bear. Shit. Alright. Are they in the league? Is this his pet bear? Set up camp before something else happens. Alright. Now yeah, let's replenish your potions. Uh, iron bowl. Alright. Right, we don't have a lot of potions. Rest a bit. All right, so where do we go? So there's a mercenary fortress over there. There's another rift over there. There are actually two rifts here. There's actually a whole. This is a new area. Might as well. Take it down, but we, since we found it anyway, hopefully we can handle it. It might actually be a bit higher level than we can handle. Anyone who'd come after these refugees needs a good killing. Yep, we can. We can uh, agree on that, bull. You can see the fortress from here. Right, come on. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Uh. All right. Uh. All right. Barrier. Barrier. All right. All right. Oh, that's it. loot. Right, one more enemy over there. Everyone gather around. Alright. What the hell? Well, at this point, we still... are pretty uh, squishy. I mean, um, Marion, at least. Even if we have the best armors we can get. Oh, shit! That guy, who is he? Oh, it's a Wow. This guy's a... Oh. I 
kinda wonder if we can actually handle this mercenary fort. I think we can, we can, I'm sure. Uh, but we're going to get mauled. Alright, use one of those. Yeah, whatever happens. The the actual healing potions are more valuable because they they heal a lot more and are immediate. Regent potions they they're better for just augmenting your supply because you can't pull off a regen in the middle of a big battle. All right, come on. I guess we're gonna have to clear this place first before we head for the fort. Barrier. All right, kill that bear. Where is it? Oh, it's attacking. It's attacking them. All right. Enemies actually fight each other. But I'm not sure if it if if they actually can cause damage to each other. Did they kill the bear? They actually killed the bear! Alright. Up ahead. That's the camp of our mysterious friends, unless I'm mistaken. No, you're not mistaken. Come on. Alright. Hello, my friend. Oh, we can have We can handle these guys. All right. Let's get their loot. Ooh. Medium free armor. The dark suit does not sound great. Bull. Yes. That's a lot. We just got that warlord screen. A legendary weapon. A legendary weapon we found in the lake, mystical origin, and um, it's already outclassed. <laughs> Still a lot more enemies nearby. Let's just get the stuff we can get. I think this actual fort is uh, more important. I think the priority is this port. Let's go. Look, there's even uh, one of those skull things. I think it's Oculus. Grand Forest Villa. So this, uh, this is what that note we found was referring to. Grand Forest Villa. That the lush and beautiful Grand Forest Villa is so far from Redcliffe Castle seems odd until one learns the history behind its construction. More than an age before the Orlesian occupation of Ferelden, Al Jason Garin ordered its construction to serve as comfortable living quarters for his close friend, famed singer and swordsman Sir Coram the Bard. Arlesa Marguerite, Jason's wife, evidently understood and supported her husband's relationship with Coram, only stipulating that the bard not live at the castle to avoid any public scandal. Arl Jason's Ride was a popular tavern song for many years, jokingly honoring the Arl's attempts to return from the villa before the sun rose. Sir Coram lived happily there until his death in bed at the age of 90 several years after the death of Arl Jason himself. The age Arlesa Marguerite ordered Coram's body burned with full honors in a, in a hunting cloak that belonged to the Arl. After Sir Coram's death, the villa was used by the Arl's family for guests and as a summer home for younger family members. It was abandoned during the chaos of the Fifth Blight. 
All right. Very interesting. Unfortunately, now it is. All right. Now it is occupied by these guys. Uah. We'll take a potion. Vanguard armor. If Vol can wear it, have him wear it. What's he wearing right now? Vanguard. Vanguard coat. Vanguard mail. Why can't he wear this? Level eight. Isn't he level eight? Oh, it's level 9. Alright. Well, we have stuff that we can use eventually. Can we level up, actually? No, 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 no. Alright. Alright, let's, uh... This stuff. So this fort is being used as a headquarters by the Carter's bandit. Well, you can consider them mercenaries, not bandits, at this point. Alright, alright. Uh, barrier first before anything else. Alright! These guys are really tanky. You can take them. Yeah. Get Alright. Heavy free ar free army armor. Always have to take advantage if the armor is better. No. Right. We're fine. We're fine. Actually, there's an enemy above. Let's go here first. Alright. Aha! Everyone, where is everybody? Another big guy. Come on. Where is everybody? Form up, form up. Alright. Right. 
Hey, there's a razor. Ooh. Don't think we could use it. Uh, Bull could use it right away. We have something to upgrade him to. Need you have armor. All right. Very good. Very, very good. Once again, Bull, take a take a potion. Unfortunately for two-handers, they don't seem to generate guard as quickly as as uh, one-handed fighters. They're not, they're really more offensive. Uh, Ah, uh, shit. Someone help! Don't run, guy. And let's take a push. Our last regen. Something happening to Eric. Why is he getting injured? Guy strong. Let's give Cassandra a barrier. Now he's generating guard like crazy. Oh, wake up. Fuck. Alright. Where is Vec? How did he get down there? <laughs> How did he get down here? There's no way down here. <laughs> Shit. All right, that was that guy was a bit too much for us. We could take him. All right. Yeah, Cassandra, take a potion. Bull, take the last potion. <sighs> Come on, let's let's go after that guy. Damn it. We almost got him. I didn't think he's still there. Where is he? Is he here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on. Oh, you can take him. Yes, you can kill him, you can kill him, you can kill him. Die! Kill him! Oh. Get up, bull. It seems the Ferelden army has chosen to stay clear. For now. Alright, there's some stuff. Alright. 
Most of the stuff is for later. Let's give Cassandra enhanced belt, belt of health. Oh, I just give her that. Um, belt of melee defense, belt of staggering. Let's give that to Varric. Alright, I think that guy was the leader of this place. I'm not sure if we've actually cleared this area. But this does seem to be. Ah! A letter from the Carta. We hired your mercenary organization to facilitate this business venture. Not add complications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without attracting attention, the area must be free from observation. If the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade Templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering with our operations. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Valamar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new instructions. An unsigned letter found in a remote mountain villa. Well, they won't be sending representatives because they're dead. So I guess the Inquisition will have to send representatives instead. An unsigned letter, the Inquisition's growing presence in the area represents a threat to the operation. Focus efforts on discouraging any further exploration in the area particularly any efforts to give comfort to the refugees at the crossroads. We cannot have people putting down roots here. Well, too late. And this Carta is a clear and present danger, as we've seen. So our next course of action, I guess, is to go to Valamar and make sure that we put the Carta into some shallow graves. It has been Mark the Lone Gamer, and we'll continue with our campaign here in Dragon Age Inquisition in the next video.